Welcome to Poems and Prompts number three. I'm Brian Whittingham, and today I'm reading Robert Tannehill's poem, The Triflos Sabbath Day, from the book Radical Renfrew, edited by Tom Leonard. A grand book if you can get a hold of it. should check it out. So to keep in the theme of what we're doing today, this is Tannehill's Tartan on my tie. And why has it got the colours it's got? Because the colours are all taken from the Glenifer Brays, the variety of plants that grow in the Glenifer Brays. And Tannehill used to wander about the Brays an awful lot, jotting down his ideas for his poems. As he did when he worked at his loom, he was a weaver. And a lot of times he would jot down ideas when he's working at his loom. He wrote songs as well, multi-talented. So check out Tannehill. Well worth it. So to his poem, The Trifle Sabbath Day. Loud sounds the deep mouthed parish bell, religion cut with ties. John lies in his bed in count sheets knell, and thinks it's time to rise. But oh how weak our man resolves, his projects ill to keep. John thrusts his nose beneath the clothes and dozes o'er to sleep. Now fairy fancy plays her freaks upon his sleep's well brain. He dreams, he starts, he muttering speaks, and walkings with a grain. He rubs his in, the clock strikes twelve, impelled by hunger's gripe. When mighty effort backs resolve, he's up, at last he's up. Hunger appeased his cutty pipe and plies his time till two, and now he saunters through the house and knows not what to do. He baits the trap, catches a mouse, sports it round the floor, he swims it in a water tub, gets glorious fun till four, and now of cats, of mice and rats, he tells a thousand tricks till even dullness tires herself, for hark! The clock strikes six. Now view him in his easy chair, recline his ponderous head. Tis eight, now Bessie rakes the fire, and John must go to bed. So there we have John the Trifler on the Sabbath day. So what could you write about? What, what kind of prompts come to your mind when you hear that poem? Well, you could write about your typical Sabbath day. On a Sunday, perhaps how you spend a Sunday today, what ritual you've got, or when you were younger, if you'd done something different. I used to be in the boys' brigade, and on a Sunday we would go in parades, that kind of stuff. So everybody's got different things. Then in the afternoon we would play football. So no football today, though. I'm well past that. I've hung up my boots. So you might write about a day's routine. One of the earlier Poems and Prompts videos I've done, number one I think it was, was regarding Robert Louis Stevenson, his poem Counterpain, where he wrote about when he was in bed as a child. And he imagined the covers were mountains or the sea or whatever hills that his soldiers could march over, that kind of thing. So perhaps you read in bed, perhaps you've got difficulty getting up yourself. How do you feel about getting up? How do you feel about going to bed? What challenges do you have? Or what kind of routine do you have in a day? A Sunday? Or a Monday? Or a Friday? A lot of times different days mean we do different things. We go through different scenarios. Or how do you procrastinate? That's perhaps one you consider if you're a writer. How do you, why do you procrastinate? What different things do you do to procrastinate? And here's the thing, you could write about procrastination. You could write about not being able to write. That would be the trick, that would sort that one out. No more writer's block, be gone writer's block. So, so that's that. So thanks for watching. And remember, if you fancy, you can share your own thoughts and ideas in the comments below. It would be grand to see them. Until the next time we meet, stay tickety-boo. And take care out there. Cheers.